a very good morning dear children so we are back to see the class in our class so let me share the link first of all the class and today we are going to do uh, the last lesson okay so dear children the last lesson is the very first lesson of your flamingo yeah something very ironic the first lesson is actually the last lesson anyways and it is written by alphonse dore so i would like you to first of all listen to the pronunciation of how to call pronounce his name alphonse dore so alphonse dore so this is a french word actually and we must know the correct pronunciation so yes yeah, so what you are you can see the photograph of alphonse duda and now we are going to see what we are going to learn from this lesson dear children the learning outcomes i am going to discuss with you but let me tell you all these learning outcomes will not be possible to achieve today so it will take two to three classes for it. fine so the first year means after the end of this online class uh, you will be able to summarize the story the last lesson in a gap filling exercise i will share a link with you you will be able to recall the important points of the story through a short answer type quiz and multiple choice answer answer quiz i will share this link you will be able to write the correct sketch of mr ml with the help of a steel characterization technique what is a steel characterization uh, i think i will take some different separate class for it and you will be able to write the character sketch not only of mml but of anyone so that's very good technique easy one too you will be able to practice time management because this is one of the most important value of this lesson you will be able to infer the meaning of metaphorical statements in the story and also you will be able to evaluate the level of linguistic chauvinism of germans and french what is that we will discuss so what is going to be your learning experience today and the next two three days when till the time this lesson goes on so the first is you are going to gain through exposition investigation yes discussion to practice and production okay so we are going to start our lesson so first of all we are going to read about alphonse duda who is a french writer so alphonse duda was a french novelist and short story writer The last lesson is set in the days of the end of the Franco-Prussia War, in which France was defeated by Prussia, led by Miss Mark. Prussia then consisted of what now are the nations of Germany, Poland, and parts of Austria. So, in the story, the the French districts of Alsace and Lorraine have passed into Prussian hands. So we are going to read the story to find out how this political change has impact on the life at school. So let us learn something about this Franco-Prussian War. So this is Alsace and Lorraine districts map. This Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71 was the first modern war in Europe. It was the most prolonged military conflict. fought on european soil since the end of the napoleonic wars the purpose of war marked the ascendancy of imperial germany as the preeminent military power on the continent so this was the main reason for this war okay so before we move to the story let us have some of the exercises first of all some of the vocabulary item which is going to be very important to understand so one word will be in unison and it means simultaneously like when you uh, 
uh, speak all together like in the early primary classes teacher used to speak something and then the students used to repeat those words that is in unison dread of yes in utter extreme fear of so when it says great dread of it means extreme fear of in great bustle again it's very noisy very noisy environment is said to be in great bustle counted on means to rely on to depend on someone thumped at the edges thumped actually edges is nothing pinning sort of thing it is like worn or soiled by thumb and fingers by frequent handling or turning so you must see the end of the pages they get thumped or worn out or soiled because when you frequently uh, touch them and move them so next is reproach ourselves it is the act or an instance of charging oneself with a fault or mistake okay and the next is hold fast to hold fast to means stick to something very firmly when you very strongly hold someone something is stick it means hold fast to and the last look so tall it will appear the, by the end of the lesson and it means confident in stature okay so let us come to our story the last lesson so we are going to start the i started for school very late that morning and was in great dread of scolding especially because m hamel had said that he would question us on participles and i did not know the first level about them for a moment i thought of running away and spending the day out of doors it was so warm so bright the birds were chirping at the edge of the woods and in the open field back of the sawmill the prussian soldiers were drilling it was all much more tempting than the rule of part tool for participants but i had the strength to resist and hurried off to school dear children this first paragraph which we have read just now it talks about two three things number one so if uh, we see the questions why was franz unwilling to school why he was not willing to go to school and we say there are many specific reason number one like you people feel he was very late that morning for his school so this was the first reason that he didn't wish to go to school because he was late that morning second is he was in dread dread we have just read the meaning fear he was in fear of scolding why why he was in fear because and hamel would ask him questions on participles which was his whole work and he has not learned his lesson he didn't know even the first word about them so he was a normal so we can make out that this i is a character who is a student and he's late for his school he's unwilling to go to school because of the three reasons number one he was late number two he was afraid of scolding because he has not learned his lesson on participles given by his teacher okay so if he if he would not go to school then what he would do instead so he has three plans again so what thought of running away and spending the day out of doors okay why Yes, because it was warm and bright weather. The weather was good. Number two, he wants to enjoy nature, like he wants to listen to birds chirping. And yes, he wants to see the Prussian soldier drilling. Do you have an idea what is a sawmill? Sawmill, you must have seen that uh, machine which. cuts the wood uh, uh, log of woods finds right? so that 
tail of it is sawmill. It's a big machine which cuts the logs of wood. So he wished to see these Prussian soldiers at work drilling at work at the sawmill. Okay, so these three things he wished to do. He wished to spend day out because it was sunny and bright weather. He wished to listen to bird chirping and also he wished to see the soldier drilling. And yes, obviously these three things were more tempting, more interesting than the dry, boring rules of participants. But what he did finally? Did he not go to school? No, dear. He went to school. Why? Because he was strong enough to resist his feeling of not going to school and he hurried off to school. Okay. Let us move forward. When I passed the town hall, there was a crowd in front of the bulletin board. For the last two years, all our bad news had come from there. The lost battle, the draft, the orders of the commanding officer. And I thought to myself without stopping, what can be the matter now? Then, as I hurried by as fast as I could go, the blacksmith watcher, who was there with his apprentice reading the bulletin called after me. Don't go so fast, Bob. You will get to your school in plenty of time. I thought he was making fun of me. I reached an Hamel's little garden all out of breath. So this much only and we are going to discuss. The question generally asked is the scene at the town hall. This town hall is very important. Why? So what was this? First of all, what was the scene at the town hall? There was a crowd at the town hall. Where? In front of the bulletin board. Dear children, what is bulletin board? It is somewhat like your uh, notice board or you can say the bulletin is news, news board. Today you have mobiles, you have internet, you have uh, TV channels, you have newspapers, various means to know the uh, news. But in that, that time, when the story was set in, during the franco oppression War, at that time, there used to be bulletin boards. And these bulletin boards, they, the news was posted there. And people used to go read the news and, was, and were updated. So uh, why, there was a crowd at the town hall near the bulletin board. And he says, since last two years, they were getting bad news from this bulletin board. Why? Because it was telling mostly about the lost battles, the draft, the order of the commanding officers, and so on. And he was wondering, what can be the matter? Yes, but he didn't waste, it, his, didn't waste his time in going and seeing at the, the bulletin board because he was already late. So he was hurrying off for his school. Meanwhile, there was a blacksmith whose name was Watcher. This blacksmith who was there with all his apprentice, with all his tools, and he was reading in. He called him, okay, don't go so fast. Bob, you will get to your school in plenty of time. Actually, this is an ironical statement. You will come to know why. Uh, this is not a simple statement. It was an ironical. Ironical, you understand when you say something and you mean something else. Okay, so move fast. We will come to know why this is ironical statement. I don't want to, uh, what we say, spoil your uh, suspicion and dilemma and all confusions. What, why, why it is is ironical statement. You will know on your own. So move forward. Anyway, so out of breath, out of breath, why he was out of breath? Because perhaps he was running for the school. He was late. So he was out of breath. He ran into the little garden of MML, his teacher. Usually when school began, there was a great bustle. Bustle you have read just now? Noise. Anyway, I'm going to read first. Usually when school began, there was a great bustle which could be heard out in the street. The opening and closing of this, lessons repeated in unison, very loud, with our hands 
over our ears to understand better. And the teacher's great ruler rapping on the table. But now it was all so still. I had counted on the commotion to get to my disc without being seen. But of course, that day everything had to be as quiet as Sunday morning. Through the window, I saw my classmates already in their places and Aunt Hamel walking up and down with his terrible iron ruler under his arm. I had to open the door and go in before everybody. You can imagine how I blushed and how frightened I was. But nothing happened. And Hamel saw me and said very kindly, Go to your place quickly, little friends. We were beginning without you. Here. So first thing I think you must have noticed, M. Hamel, the teacher calling this boy, friends. So we come to know the I here is a character who is a student named friends. Okay. So out of that, when he went to school, he could notice some changes in his school. So we are going to discuss this question in two parts. First, what used to be the usual scene as a school and what was the unusual that day? Okay. So let us discuss first of all the usual scene. Number one, when the school began, Generally, there was a great bustle. We have read just now. Bustle means noise. And this noise was so loud that it could be heard out in the street. What was the noise about? What was the noise of? The opening and closing of decks. The lessons repeated in unison. Just do you have uh, run the meaning unison all together and simultaneously at the same time? Very loud with our hands over our ears to understand better and the teacher's great ruler rapping on the table. So what was there? There used to be generally noise, usually noise, the noise of opening and closing of desks, uh, number one. Number two, lessons repeated in unison. Number three, very loud with the hands over the ears to understand better and number Three is the teacher's great ruler rapping on the table. So three, number one, opening closing of the decks. Number two, unison re lessons, repeated in unison lessons. Uh, lessons repeated in unison, second point. And third is that the teacher's great ruler rapping on the table. So these were usually the noise. But now it was so still, it was all still. Commotion means disturbance. This was something very disturbed thing. Why? Because generally it was quite noisy and there was perfect silence that day, like Sunday morning. So this was the change. So when there is noise, it is very, uh, it's not very easy to identify someone coming in, going or doing some action. But when it is perfectly calm, anybody can be easily observed by all so he was shy so he saw his classmates they were already in their places so what happened and and that day he was uh, M. Hamel was walking up with his tire, iron ruler and under his arm he was not just wrapping it on the table anyways he has to open who friends has to open the gate the door before everyone and he was Blushed, blushed, means ashamed of being late, and also being late, and also he was frightened. Both frightened and blushed. These were his expressions that time. Why? Because he knew that now he is going to be easily observed by everyone. Because that day there was a change. What was the change? The school was perfectly quiet, like a Sunday morning. Why Sunday morning? Because Sunday morning is a relaxed morning when you don't have uh, much to do. You are not in a rush of doing things. Anyway, but what happened, M. Hamel, that was that they was also behaving differently. Instead of 
of getting angry at the boy friends he says go to your place we were going to begin without you friends okay so these were the changes there are some more changes which you will see number one you have seen that was perfectly quiet and now the the list of changes will come one by one i'm reading the next paragraph I jumped over the bench and sat down at my desk and not till then when I had got a little over my fright and I see that our teacher had on his beautiful green coat his frilled shirt and the little black silk cap all embroidered that he never wore except on inspection and prize days besides the whole school seemed to seem so strange and solemn but the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches that were always empty the village people sitting quietly like ourselves old hauser with his three cornered hat the former mayor the former postmaster and several other besides everyone looked sad and hoder has brought an old primer thumbed at the edges and he held it open on his knees with his great spectacles lying across the page let us discuss so one change was that morning was quiet Second change, Franz noticed that their teacher, M. Hamel, was wearing this special dress that day. This special dress is very important, you must learn. So what was that special dress? Number one, he was wearing his beautiful green coat, his frilled shirt, number two. And number three, his little black silk cap, which was all embroidered. and why it was this dress was special because he used to wear this dress only on inspection and prize day which used to be the very special days okay this was the second change third change third change was that the back seats which usually remain empty the old villagers were sitting like all who were with a three corner head from a mayor from a postmaster and several others and the hoser he has brought his prime primer you may understand a uh, writing pad which was thumbed at the edges thumbed at the edges we have discussed just now before the starting of this lesson that it means it is worn out used by using so it was thorn uh, thumbed out at the edges and he was keeping it the knee and everybody was Solomon, serious. Everything was strange, weird, and serious. So these uh, were the three changes. Apart from that, you can add one more point, which is not very directly mentioned, and that is, M. Hamel, who was a very strict teacher, that day he was patient. and he said kindly he was not angry with friends on being late so these four changes were there which friends noticed that day i think this is clear now and we are moving forward after discussing what was the usual scene at a school and what were the changes that day now let's move forward while i was wondering about it all and handed his chair and in the same grave and gentle tone which he had used to me said my children this is the last lesson i should give i shall give you the order has come from one teach only german in the schools of alsace and lorraine the new master comes to all this is your last french lesson i want you to be very what a thunder clap these words were to me oh the wretches that was what they had put up at the town hall my last little french lesson why i hardly knew how to write 
I should never learn any more. I must stop it then. Oh, how sorry I was for not learning my lessons, for seeking bird's eggs or going sliding on the star. My books that had seemed such a nuisance a while ago, so heavy to carry. My grammar and my history of the sense were words now that I couldn't give up. And in Hamil too, the idea that he was going away, that I should never see him again, made me forget all about his ruler and how cranky he was. Poor man. Okay. So we are going to discuss these points only. So why this was, there was a change at school that day. So we come to know that that order has come from Berlin, Berlin, the capital of Germany, that from the next day in the district of Alsace or Lorraine, which were now under the control of Prussian force, uh, mainly Germany, and then that's why they were imposing German on French people who were living in these two districts. And that day, it was the last lesson of French. Okay, these words are thunderclap. Thunderclap, you understand? Thunderclap, it's like when you uh, listen to a very loud sound when it is very stormy. So it was thunderclap. Why? He was shocked to listen to these words. Who? Oh, France. Why? Now he come to know what was the news at the town hall. The news at the town hall was that there will be no teaching of French from the next day. And the, the teaching of German will take place from the next day and there is no time for that. This knowledge knowledge of the order brought about a change in the feelings of France. What, what were these, these, these feelings, change in the feeling? That's very important. So we will see. Number one, on knowing that he will not be able to learn his lessons anymore, he was sorry. He was sorry why for not taking his lessons seriously. He was always busy in looking for bird's eggs, going sliding or sar. I hope that you understand what sar is. Let me show what sar is. Oh, sorry, images. Oh, no, they're showing. Sar is actually, you must have seen that... Uh, um, you must have seen some uh, European and American children playing with a board, skating board, you can understand, okay? So going sliding on Sar, my books that had seen, so he was sorry about for not taking his lesson seriously and wasting in time, his time in these things. Number one, change in him. Number two, change. His attitude towards his books completely changed. How? Earlier, his books were nuisance, attention, a problem, a hateful thing for him. But knowing that he won't be able to read those books again, he that there was a change in him. See here. So earlier, his feelings toward his books were he th thought that these books were those books were a nuisance, a problem, attention, a hateful thing for him, and they were very heavy to carry as well. Okay, his grammar, history, but now he changed his perspective, his feelings. There was a change in his feeling towards his book. Now he thinks his books are his old friends and he didn't wish to give his books up. So apart from feeling sorry, the change, the attitude towards his books changed completely. His attitude towards his books not only changed, but also his attitude towards his teacher, M. Hamel, whom he used to think was cranky, an angry man, a strict man. But now, coming to know that he is no longer going to see him again, 
he forgot all about his ruler and all about his strictness and he was just not liking the idea that he is going away so we come to know that the feelings of france changed on knowing that there will be no german uh, french class from the next day that was the last french class that his they first of all these words were like a shock to him a thunder clap he was sorry about all his activities or not taking his lessons seriously his attitude towards his books and his teacher changed earlier his books appeared to him as heavy a nuisance but now he they they appear to be like his old friend and didn't wish to give them up and for his friend also uh, sorry teacher also earlier he used to think that he was cranky but now the idea that he is going away was making him sad next poor man it was in honor of this last lesson that he had put on his fine sunday clothes and now i understood why the old men of the village were sitting there in the back of the room it was because they were sorry too they had not gone to school more it was their way of thanking our master for his 40 years of faithful service and of showing their respect for the country that was theirs no more okay so so uh, here you see now he realized the reason why the teacher was wearing those special clothes and why the old villagers were sitting at the back seats because now he uh, come to know that all of them were also sorry for taking their lessons sincerely and they were this question comes in your exam why they were at the back seats so and the moreover for two reason number one that they were thanking am hamel for his 40 years of faithful service as a teacher as a french teacher and second they were also showing their respect for the country which was no longer theirs dear children i think we should go with the next point also that's important while i was thinking of all this i heard my name called it was my turn to recite what would i not have given to be able to say that dreadful rune for the participants all through very loud and clear and without a mistake but i got mixed up first words and stood there holding on to my desk my heart beating and not daring to look up so there was again a sudden change in his class. and the class sudden change in his uh, attitude towards his class was like that the participants rule we, we, um, uh, the rules which he think he don't know and that day he said about them loud and clear in the class but he got stuck up at many things when he got stuck up at one thing, at one thing, then M. Hamel said something to him. Now the next uh, lines are going to be very important because here M. Hamel is going to ponder on the issue that why French people have not learned French till date. Honey, I'm going to read. Just pay attention. I heard. M. Hamel said to me, I told you, little friends, you must feel bad enough. See how it is. Every day we have said to ourselves, Bah, I have plenty of time. I will learn it tomorrow. And now you see where we have come out. Ah, that's the great trouble with ourselves. Ship of learning till tomorrow. Now, those fellows out of their will have the right to say to you how is it you pretend to be frenchman and yet you can neither speak nor write your own language but you are not the worst poor little friends we all we have all a great deal to reproach ourselves with your parents were not anxious enough to have you learn 
they preferred to put you to work on a farm or at the mills so as to have a little more money and i i have been to blame also have i not often sent you to water my flowers instead of learning your lessons and when i wanted to go fishing did i not give you a holiday okay so in these two paragraphs m hammer is actually discussing the reasons and he is holding the people responsible for not learning french i have actually discussed all these questions with you so this question is very important whom did m hamel blame for not learning french and why this is very very important question discussed in these two paragraphs so he blamed three people for not learning french first he blamed the students why he is not blaming friends only because friends here is a representative of students he said that all the time the people they were procrastinating the students particularly we will do it tomorrow we will do it tomorrow and there is a movie you know tomorrow never dies the same happened with the french people there was no tomorrow there was no tomorrow for learning french it has ended forever this class it was the last listen for them he says this was a trouble with alsas not only with students but with all people in alsas and she she here means alsas alsas puts off learning things till tomorrow why this is transferring the things tomorrow 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 and there is no tomorrow so he blames students for procrastinating and not learning lesson and transferring the things for the to the next day and now there is no next day and he said yes now the those german they have right to make fun of us that how you are french you don't know your language even and he said yes to deal the reproach ourselves yes. is sorry and just look into that you have done something wrong i have we have discussed this phrase in the vocabulary section second so after students he blames parents why parents because the parents always prefer to send their students to work instead of sending them to school they would send them on farm or mills why to have little more money so the students for transferring the things till the next day number 2 parents who engage their children on farm or mills to have some extra income and have never paid attention towards their learning they, this this is reason he blames the parents and third he blames himself so himself here he is not blaming only himself he is also blaming all the teachers so the third one he because m hammer is representative of teachers so he is also as a teacher responsible for not learning french by french people why number one he gives the reason that he has sent his students to do the personal work of him like watering his flowers when the lessons were going on which was really bad because the student who has gone out to water his plants was actually missing his lesson and whenever he wished to have an off he gave them a holiday for example he gives the example that if he wished to have a off he just gave them a holiday suppose he wished to go fishing he gave them a holiday so very very important questions who are the three people whom m hammer blamed for not learning french so the first is the student friends actually is representative of student for for postponing things till next day number 2 parents for engaging the students their children on farm and mill instead of paying attention on the studies and the teacher who engaged the student in his personal chores 
instead of making them study and missing them missing their lesson and also giving them a holiday so dear children we are going to end today's lesson today tomorrow again we will continue with the explanation part meanwhile i want you to see just a quick revision quick review of the questions which we have discussed why was friends unwilling to go to school because he was late he has not learned his lesson he was afraid of mhml and what he wished to do instead he wished to uh, he wished to listen to the birds chirping he wished to spend his day out because it was bright and sunny and 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 the yes and uh, he wished to see prussian soldier drilling a sawmill what was the scene at the town hall there was a crowd because there was a bulletin board okay and the transcends last two years it was a source of bad news for french people especially in saint saint laurent who was blacksmith watcher what did blacksmith watcher tell him he tell him don't go in a hurry you is in a in a plenty of time to go now you understand the irony irony of the statement now i will discuss so why he said this this word uh, was ironical you have plenty of time now you come to know because there was no use of running or hurrying to school because there was no time to learn french now so that's why the statement was ironic he meant to say now you have no time to learn french it's over okay so he he tell him what did he mean by that he mean by that not what he mean was saying in his words he mean something different it was actually an ironical statement ironical statement for the next question which was seen at school there was a lot of noise lesson repeated in unison in unison closing and opening of desk and m hamel wrapping his ruler on the desk okay but that day what were the changes that day it was perfectly calm m hamel was patient and he was not angry he was wearing a special dress then he could see the villagers sitting at the back seats dress of m hamel is very very important dear children so once again he was wearing his beautiful green coat beautiful green coat his frilled his frilled shirt and the large black silk cap all embroidered okay this was special dress which he used to wear only on inspection and exam days result days here it is so when he used to wear this special dress on inspection and prize days inspection and prize days what was the order from berlin very clear the order from berlin was that from the next day there will be no french teaching in french district alsace and lorraine from next day onwards german will be taught in these two french districts why they how did the how did friends feeling change towards school and ham uh, and am hamel change yes knowing this order his feelings changed earlier his books which appeared to him like a nuisance and very heavy to carry became his old friends he didn't wish to give them up for am hamel though he knew that he was very cranky and very cranky and very strict but still the idea that he is going away he was not liking it so this was a change and whom did am hamel blame for not learning french he blamed three people for not learning french france who was representative of students Till things till the next day, okay. And till the next day, and parents for engaging their students uh, in economic activities like working on farm or mill to earn some extra money, and not paying attention towards their studies. And teacher, he blamed himself as a teacher for engaging his students in personal course. uh when the lesson is going on and making the child missing his lesson and also giving the children an off a holiday when he wishes to have a holiday or an off day maybe for for example when he wish to go fishing so we are going to end today's lesson i hope that you have understand it well if you have any confusion 
you may drop your questions in the comment box so thank you see you the next day bye